Hey folks, Quill18 here, and welcome to another episode of Let's Play Urban Empire. We are here in Quillopolis. It is now 1895, just on the cusp of a new century. We've got almost 4,000 people over here in Quillopolis. We're currently trying to pass some animal rights protections. We've recently increased the, uh, the density of Center Quill over here, and I believe our population may still be increasing. Ah, very slowly, but it is going in there. We did also change the, yeah, we did change the zoning density of Edgeworth as well. And yeah, indeed, population's going up. Money situation is very good right now, with uh, over around 150k per month coming in. Two million in the bank. There we go. Pops now over 4,000. And assembly line technology just finished, which I think is going to be very, very handy for us. Automobiles for the middle class. I mean, we're well ahead of a schedule, I think, over here. Unlocking car industry buildings, hardware stores inside of our our city, as well as unlocking the passenger terminal upgrade for the port. So what are we going to get next? Wow, look how quickly we're actually researching these right now. We did get a whole lot of schooling going in here. So um, let's go and go for the cheapest one, ep ep epidemiology over here. So we get some extra health-related um, edicts. We also have the ability to plop down a central hospital, which is interesting. And, you know, toilet paper, which honestly, I think we have waited too long to unlock toilet paper technology. All right, now... In terms of institutions we can do right now, we could put down the electrical power plant. We did do the university, so that's good. Overall, things are okay. Our fun rating's not very high. I wonder, if we go to the port here and we upgrade the institution, um, and we were to look into boosting this, what would we do? Well, all commercial companies would have a decreased sales demand. That's very nice. Social life and fun bonus from the port would go up. It costs 2.5 million to build. But it doesn't appear to have any extra maintenance cost. So that seems to be kind of a no-brainer to me. I'm going to go ahead and do this, get a citywide boost. Everyone's in favor. We'll just use the quick and vote, and that's going to be fine. Oath of Allegiance. A new counselor, Carl Ziegler, from the Young Swirelian Party, has caused problems in the council. Every new counselor must swear an oath of allegiance by God. But Ziegler has refused on account of being an atheist. He is demanding an oath that doesn't involve God. As the mayor, you can decide if the council can let him have a different oath. Yes, let him swear allegiance only by the emperor, or definitely not. Well, I am going to let him swear allegiance only by the emperor. I mean, I know this is a time where it might be, well, I was going to say it might be crazy to think about this sort of atheist bend, but the fact of the matter is that this sort of like political movement or, or awareness has been around for at least two or three hundred years, that, that sort of shift away from certain things in politics. In fact, um, and I think I'm being influenced in my thinking here because of living in North America, um, is specifically if you look at the states, I believe some of the um, some of the God stuff was reintroduced into some of the official sort of pledges and this and that in the US in something like the 1950s or something. So it's perfectly reasonable, I think, for us to say, no, yeah, well, uh, you don't have to swear by God, absolutely, but still swear by the emperor, of course, because that's the way the chain of command works in this country. So we're going to do that, what it's going to do. It's going to give me goodwill with the young Swirelian party and tank some of the goodwill with the old Swirelian party, but that's okay. The old one is on its way out, I think. So, we're voting on upgrading the institution. Animal protection laws are still looking to kick in. It's going to be a wee bit tight over here, and I would like it to come in to effect. So let's see if we can't just, you know, just demand, not be too aggressive. Um, we're going to express our demands in the newspaper. The public outcry seemed to be... Um, Present your demand skillfully. At least, now at least some of the members are inclined to vote the way you want. The the public um, admonition seems to work relatively well most of the time. Maybe you know there's something about my particular mayoral skills over here that tend to make it work pretty well. Soft, totalitarian, progressive, cynical, optimist, cynical optimist. I love it. You know I don't trust anything, but I'm happy about it, and I think it's all going to work out for the best. Excellent. In 96, population going up. People are trying to influence each other, which should be fine. And other than the fun factor, our town's going pretty well. We might want to go and invest in a new theater. But, you know, that's money. And while I'm not, you know, we've raised taxes a few times to pay for more services, we're not going to try to overdo it. Um, we're going to vote on upgrading. So this should go perfectly well. So we're going to do that. Spend 2.5 mil on upgrading the port. And that is going to give us more fun factor everywhere. Um, sales demand. Why is this in red? Because if we've parsed this correctly, this is actually a good thing. 
So, bonus to social life, bonus to fun, and some other line here with the port. Okay. Well, we have passed that, so that's going to be fine. Animal protection is still being debated for some damn reason. No, it is bad. Sales demand... Some of these, some of these tooltips. I don't know. They're still a little confusing. We can find a shop that's ineffective over here. Sales demand is at minus ten. Man, can't wait for the game to be out so I can read a manual. <laughs> all right. Um, Center Quill. So you're still all good. I don't want to mess too much. I think it's time to implement some more. Now, here's the question: Do we? put in some more infrastructure. We don't have electricity in our town yet. Is it time to do that? I don't know. A woman in university. A young woman demands an audience with you. Her name is Sophia Meitner, and she'd like to become a physician. I studied as far as I can, and my grades are excellent, but I'm not allowed to study at the university because I'm a woman. Can you help me? Um, yeah, absolutely. We're going to use our influence to enable her to study. The more people that get more smarter, the more better that is. So let's do that. We are going to get a little bit more brain power from the university, and uh, female citizens are going to be able to spend a little bit more money at uh, private companies. Excellent. Now, I don't believe we have a high school yet, right? So, because this is our... Uh, no, that's the courthouse. Vocational school, church, grammar school. Now, I'm pretty sure we don't. That's city hall, police station, and, of course, the university itself. So, let's see. There's no upgrades for the university, right? We haven't unlocked them. No. Okay. Let's see if we can't... Ooh, high security in Whitburg. Theft and assaults are rare in Whitburg. The residents never lock their doors and trust easily. Are they too trusting? No, I'm going to keep being an optimist. Our, our people... Uh, Quillopolis should have more people like that. So, we're going to get some prestige and more optimism. Yeah, that's going to be fine. Epidemiology, epidemiology just completed. Um, health right now is actually pretty good. I'm not going to rush to build a central hospital. We might look into some of these uh, edicts, though. That's for sure. And then toilet paper. So I'm going to go and unlock dynamite next. Dismantle, asbestos, and new companies. Stone surface for the roads. So that's one of the things I don't know. Oh, what's this? For decades, there's been a big debate in the medical field on what caused disease. Slowly, the idea that miasma, or bad odors, would be causing the sickness is losing field, and doctors agree there's something else at play. Whose work should you focus on the most? Yeah, so that's actually kind of interesting. Um, this was, like, a mistake that actually turned out to be relatively... It worked, right? The, the idea that, that bad smell caused disease... Um, was prevalent for a while, and it caused people to like, okay, well, maybe we shouldn't have, like, our kitchen right next to the latrines because the smell can make people sick or, you know, putting rotting dead bodies further away from people. It turns out that that's a really good idea. It's not the smell that does it, but it, you know, turns out that not eating where you're also doing other things is a really good idea. Um, ooh. Ah, okay, so... It's interesting, there's no pop-up for Jon Snow here. Maybe he knows nothing. But um boom Uh we've got Ignaz over here who has uh support for surgical hygiene. Important health safety initiative, failing to do so risks increase in disease, potential increase in mortality rates. So this looks like it would increase bonus to health services, bonus to security services. It would I'm not sure what this is because we don't have a pop-up for it right now. Uh, and over here, bonus to population growth. Ooh, interesting. Or we can support mandatory vaccines. Bonus to health. Um, it would increase city expenses a little bit. I mean, surgical hygiene is a pretty good thing. Like, maybe you should wash your hands before you operate on people. That sounds relatively decent. So, as far as I can tell, this mandatory vaccines gives us plus two health. And this one also gives us plus two health. Plus other things. So I think we should go with this one, just from a gameplay point of view. Ooh, everyone hates it. Uh-oh. Although, oh, by choosing that, we did get the boost uh, to support specifically. Okay, so they would have hated it normally, but because of the event, because of the support, good. So again, we choose something um, like we've done recently, where we would have never been able to pass it, but because we chose this for an event, we get enough support. Wonderful, yeah, because some people are dramatically opposed to this idea. So, good stuff there. Excellent. Animal protection is still coming in. So, anyway, I believe I was going to consider building a university, or a high school. And I think I might build it in a Hope Mill, 
just to spread things around a little bit. So if we were going to modify this, place surfaces, um, high school. Right over there. And I think we've got a couple of buffs to high school because of some other decisions we've made along the way as well. Everyone's really in favor of getting a high school. Excellent. So that should pass with E, 750000 to build, which actually we're going to be fine, right? Because even with the port upgrade, we're still banking huge money. The maintenance is perfectly manageable. So let anything else we want to make a change to this district. You know, this district never got gas infrastructure. I'm actually thinking about putting down the electric grid and some electric lighting for the, I think, an increase in environmental effect and security. Well, let's, hmm. Well, I say, because sometimes they won't go for it. Oh, we don't have a sewer system here yet. Let's get that going on, which seems like a pretty good idea. Um, hmm, we need a tram line. Road capacity. Big boost to environment and a little bit to safety. Running costs. Let's do it because um, they're going to be really in favor of this new proposed change to the district based on um, them liking the high school. So we'll go and throw in, we'll, we'll tack on a few extra amendments over here. So running costs, but I think there's going to be some good results to this. So we're going to confirm all this, propose the district changes. 74k per month maintenance is pretty high, but we're going to do it. It's going to overlap into Edgeworth. And um, we'll probably go and increase the density of Hope Mill in the future as well. So we're going to go ahead and make this proposal. It looks like we may have to go and work on them a little bit to get it done. Three council members, 29, 19. Let's, um, yeah, goodwill is negative. Uh, everyone will consider you fools. There we go. That's probably going to be more than enough. More than enough over here. Okay, let's do this. We'll revisit it when it's about halfway. Oh, people are trying to uh, vote on each other. The physiocratic party really want schools and stuff, so they're going to be really, really in favor of getting this go through. So that's going to be nice. Money is still fantastic right now. Let's take another look over here. I think we're going to be fine. Um, the old Swirelians actually like me a fair bit. I'm going to go ahead that um, only the intellectually challenged would oppose me. All right, that should more than lock us in. And I really don't want to invest too much goodwill in this because we're going to need it for other stuff later on. Nothing. Oh yeah, I just checked the upgrades and we didn't check, but there's nothing. Free Democratic Party wins the election. Only a 7% margin though. First scientific mission walks on Antarctica. X-rays see through solid objects. What? That's crazy. No upgrades over here. Okay. So, I don't know if there's a way to find out what the deal is with the roads, right? Because there's a road capacity number over here, 25k. I mean, is that total population? Because we've been able to upgrade from gravel roads to um, cobblestone, and soon we're going to be able to upgrade to a stone surface, which um, when you go and try to tweak that for the districts, gives you more road capacity. But I don't know where we can find out the actual utilization of the road. You know, if I click on a building... Wow, 100% support for these guys. Yeah, I'm not sure. Alright, vote on modifying district. That's going to go through with a fair margin. Maybe not as much as I actually thought, but that's a, that's a pretty big margin in most uh, politics, and the animal rights are also going to pass with, uh, with these, so that's good. Alright, so there we go. So we've got high density over here. Hope Mill will hopefully grow, especially now that it's got um, a few extra amenities going on here. Some electricity, which is fantastic. Uh, oh, ready to vote. I'm like, why isn't time passing? Animal rights. Let's go and do this. Still trying to dig up dirt on these parties. We'll get some at some point. Hereby proposed animal protection laws be enacted. So the increased demand for physical environment, but also a bonus to it, which is good and a bunch more brain power at the university. Animal cruelty outlawed, fantastic. Animal rights prevailed when council reached a decision regarding new animal cruelty laws. As of today, all the animal fight pits are illegal and keeping pets malnourished is outlawed. As for businesses, a one year transition period has been put in place until the new laws take effect. Big environmental boost throughout the city. 
Wonderful. City average fun isn't bad either. Ooh, dynamite! That's going to increase our fun. Alfred Nobel from Sweden has combined nitroglycerin with different absorbents and stabilizers and then managed to create a dynamite, a powerful and safe explosive. There are clearly many benefits to this invention, and your city administration is currently pondering how it could be best used in city building, exploding old buildings in arm industry and road infrastructure. Let's improve our arms industry. What could possibly go wrong with that? There you go. Sales demand, minus 5%. Excellent. Carnival! Residents of Hope Mill wish to arrange a carnival celebrating spring. Will you allow that? Well, why would I say no? Yeah, let's have the best carnival in Swirelia. It's going to be a great tourism opportunity. Let's do it. It's going to be a big boost of fun. Uh, yeah, it's going to lower security a little bit, but we had lots of average security and our fun rating wasn't super huge everywhere. How's Hope Mill specifically? Plus five security, plus five fun. Might need a little bit more security there going forward, but overall I can't complain too much. Safe working environments. Hereby propose that all citizens deserve a safe working environment with no lethal hazards. I absolutely agree. Let's see if we can get this going. This is going to be a little bit challenging. Eh, not as challenging. Workplace safety laws up for discussion. Industry and business focus on one simple need, one goal, profit. For centuries, worker health, wealth, and well-being was not a factor. Now, however, workers are increasingly unhappy with this state of affairs, arguing that without their labor and risk, there is no profit. Business owners counter that too many workplace rights will affect their ability to make a profit, and these two conflicting needs will be reconciled. So, as is no, there's a lot of members in the Young Swirelian party. I am... Oh, our goodwill is not great. I'm going to threaten them once. You're about to make a grave mistake. There we go. Get them pushed over here. And the old, we're going to demand... Like that. And hope they drift over. Now the problem is there are 28 members in the Free Democratic Party. We almost certainly aren't going to change. Uh, let's use a little bit of pleading over here. Positive effects. Just to try to lock in the physiocratic a little bit more. Hmm. Hopefully we can get a humane working condition. Be in place. And continue to progress up our little uh, hierarchy of laws over here. If I recall. Um, labor laws. I think we're voting on this level 2 one over here right now, which is why it's showing as locked. Good wishes alone Dynamite! Peace. Good wishes alone do not ensure peace. Now the story with Alfred Nobel here is that um, he invented dynamite and it was used for all kinds of things. Construction, sure, but also obviously the arms industry. Um, and I think one day there was a mistake and people thought that he died and he, like, a newspaper ran an obituary calling him, like, the merchant of death. You know, merchant of death is dead. And he's kind of shaken up that that would be his legacy. So I think after that he went and put his, uh, invested a bunch of money to do the Nobel Peace Prize kind of thing to change his, um, his legacy. And really that's the, what we associate his name with, right? All the Nobel Prizes. So, uh, so this is our third level road service, but I don't know if we need the second one yet. I'm not sure. Asbestos insulation. Boosts construction industry, but reduces health. Not that people knew about this for a long time. Unlocking the arms industry, construction companies. That sounds all very swell. So let's go ahead and I guess we'll keep going for the next cheapest, which would be combustion over here. Gives us uh, elite social class. We'll begin driving automobiles. Haven't they started already? Maybe not the elites, which is kind of funny, the order we're doing things in. I'll also unlock the, uh, the fire station. Which, I mean, we may not rush into doing, although we'll see how it goes. You know, the graphic for the progress cloud, right? Showing things going in from all these ideas. I wonder if the cost goes down as we have more connections. Doesn't, I mean, it was slightly lower than voluntary motherhood and personal hygiene with only one connection. But aluminum is also... No, I don't think so. I think it's a fixed cost. I think it's just a visual thing to show things flowing in there. But it would be interesting if that was a bonus and you might negotiate or... Yeah, negotiate the path through the progress cloud in a slightly different way. So we have a ton of money going in and still huge income, which is great. I think I would like to increase the um, the density of Hope Mill here. I mean, it doesn't feel like the roads are being heavily used here. Again, I'm still a little confused about road capacity and utilization. Do we have anything in the city data that might give me... Let's see. Oh, Goodwill Resting Point. Interesting, so it's quite high with some of these people. Probably because of some of the laws we've passed. Traffic... Pa oh, there we go! Okay. So... 
Yeah, Whitburg is small. There's not a whole lot of stuff there, so it's down here. Edgeworth is at 104% utilization, and Center Quill's getting quite high as well. Okay, so clearly we'll start with Edgeworth over here. Ooh, uh, combustion. The world has seen, uh, uh, seen the first few commercial solutions for industrial internal combustion engine. As your city administration looks into the possibilities of inventions, they find out that it offers several possible benefits for the society. Should the city prepare for expanding the roads for increased usage or encourage local production? We're going to focus on this. I'm going to hope that we got a discount for fancier roads, which you're about to do now. Change in monthly city fund expenses for cobblestone road surfaces are going to be 20% cheaper. Well, there you go. So we're going to start by modifying over here. You've got the higher density, which is going to be fine. We are looking for gravel surface. We're at least going to go up to cobblestone. Although I'm actually wondering if we may as well just go all the way up to the uh, the solid stone rather than voting on things twice. We'll confirm this stage, this this um, this change. We'll crank it up. It's going to be quite a bit. Um, Edgeworth over here is also relatively well developed. Um, doesn't have gas infrastructure, so let's go and put in an electrical grid at the same time. Get them some street lights as well. Um, we could build the tram line to probably use less of the street stuff, but it's actually surprisingly cheap. But I think with the roads, it's not going to need the tram line. I think it's going to bring down our, uh, our requirements. Should we throw in the telephone as well? Let's do it. Oh, police call box if you want more security. Let's, let's just throw a bunch of stuff in. People are way in favor of this change, which is kind of interesting as is. Do we want any more services? Uh, I wonder if this is a time for us to throw in another theater. It's the only thing that gives us fun right now, right? Yeah. Now, this district... Well, the only theater is over there. So yes, I actually should build a theater maybe back over this way. I like that. Can I fit it in here without getting rid of the other thing? Looks like no. So maybe we'll build it right over here then. Okay. Confirm. So these proposed changes will cost us 2.5 million. We have way more than that in the bank. Running cost 104, which is going to cut our surplus in half. But our surplus is still growing. And again, by bringing the more services, we might actually bring in more stuff to the city. I think it's actually going to be time for us to get a new district. We may want to go and increase the density of Whitburg, but I'm actually thinking of building another supersized district over here. Might be the next best way to continue. Well, we're going to propose this district change. People are way in favor of it, so we'll use the quick and vote. That's going to be fine. Ooh, medical records. Your assistant has acquired a medical record, which proves that counselor of the physiocratic party spent two months in a mental institution 20 years ago. Likely he wouldn't want that to become public knowledge. What do you do? Um, I'm not going to show it to reporters. We, I don't... What I want to do is, like, I want to get different dirt. The dirt that I can return to this party. Because they're almost always going to vote for me anyway. So if we can just, like, return things to the party to get more goodwill. I don't know. I guess we'll keep it safe. We'll keep the dirt on hand just in case. Okay, let's check this vote. Make sure it looks good. It does indeed look good. Right to humane working conditions is currently not where we would like it. Um, we're going to address the whole party. And same thing here. We're going to go aggressive here. Intimidate the whole council. Which could backfire. Wow, that really worked out this time. Points acquired towards the cruel trait. They feel forced to support you lest bad things happen. And <laughs> they think my intentions are genuinely hostile. Well, all right then. Okay, so that's gonna be that's gonna be decided. Yes, I realize there's currently more people pledged to voting against than for, but the end result will be perfectly fine. As long as I didn't ruin things for the modifying the district. No, they're still way in favor of doing that, which is excellent. Bringing the electricity, do all that. Money's still gonna be fine. And yeah, I think we're going to, we've got, these are all medium density, right? No, Hope Mill is still low density. I think we're going to change that. So you guys are in favor. We're going to go ahead and begin this vote. Really nice to see. Again, it's going to increase our expenses a fair bit, but I think it's going to be for the best. So we're going to let this kick in. Settle down a little bit first. People's Heroes back in. Excellent. Money is still fine and swell right now. Population, I believe we just saw it tick up a significant amount. Yes, extra 40 that time. Combustion kicks in. Automobiles. Fire station as an option. We'll take a look at it soon. So, aluminium. Railroad level crossing, so we can boost our railroad. 
increased in certain industries, clocksmith, voluntary motherhood, support for poor family, family planning, ban contraception, free school lunches for the poor, personal hygiene, quarantine authority act, promote dental hygiene, and, and dental hygiene, health bonus for elite and middle class. All very, 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 very good options. What are we going to start with? I think I'm going to start with aluminum because it's likely to improve our economy, make sure that we don't suddenly tank our budget while we keep improving things, and then we're going to go for the other two that will actually increase the quality of life of our citizens. Okay, plus, you know, using new technology like this sounds very much like the sort of role we're trying to play, right? All right, so what I want to do next is I'm pretty sure we're going to modify Hope Mill over here, increase its density up to medium, and let's see. We will probably... I'm going to go all the way up to the max with the stone surface. This is going to grow to be a quite populous district. We're going to need the better road quality for sure to make that work. Um, let's let's get the telephone line. Let's do the, yeah, let's do the whole thing right now. Police call boxes, sure. In fact, if, if ideally it would be the the box that you can stand in, painted blue, so that time travelers can begin to visit us. That would be quite lovely. Infrastructure, okay. Do we build our electric power plant? I think the answer is yes. I realize that this is going to be negative um, quality. Uh, is it? It's not an institution or anything like that. So we do plop it down within our city. Okay. Or it is an institution, but it's like the university. It doesn't have a fixed spot. I'm going to try to put it sort of over here. I don't know. Like I don't think there's a radius to the environment. I think it's actually, yeah, it's a citywide penalty to the environment. Currently, it's a 7, which is not bad, and we'll see if we can do other things to improve the environment. All the electric lighting helps. So we're going to go and plop that down, like so. Okay. Uh, I think we're good. Ooh, this is going to make it a little harder. They're maybe not in favor of the power plant. I'm not sure here. It's going to cost 6.6 .6 million. That's probably why they may be opposed, and the costs are quite high but I think it's going to be important. So let's use a normal vote. It looks like so far we have most of the support. 24 members. So we're up to 32 members over here, which is sufficient. I'm going to give these guys one threat. I'm not a pleasant person, you know. There we go. One threat just to make sure that change locks in. We're going to have the money to pay for it by the time we finish that vote, and we are still going to be turning a profit, especially if we get more people in Hope Mill from the high density. Stowaways! The steamer Maria Teresa arrived in Quilopolis, and to the crew's great surprise, they found five stowaways in the hold. They were hungry and sick, and none had money for their passage. The captain asks you what should be done with them. Send them to prison. If they can pay for the journey, they can go. Let them go without punishment. And this is the really soft one. Um, let's be pragmatic. If they can pay for the journey, they can go. So it's going to give me some prestige. I guess that's fair, says the captain. Thanks you for your wise advice. Wise advice. Well, we're going to put a cut in here. Thank you very much for watching another episode of our Let's Play here of Urban Empire. And we will be back next time after Hope Mill gets modified. And hopefully we will have our electric power plant up at that point to help power all these lights. And I think we might go and build another district over here. Keep uh, Quilopolis expanding. Seems to be expanding very quickly right now. Um... You know, the demands don't necessarily always show it, although ooh, industry demand and commercial demand. I, we will definitely be investigating a little bit more of that. Fascinating. Whitburg still never got any real love over here, so we'll see how it goes. Do we go with a somewhat lower residential district or keep the current mix? I don't know. We'll see how it goes. Thanks for watching. See you next time.